So today I'm talking about a P0606 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0606 code? Well, it's an ECM PCM processor. And what does this mean? Well, as most people know, there's computers built into modern vehicles. There could be an engine control module or ECM. There could be a powertrain control module or PCM. There could be transmission control modules or ABS control modules, different things like this. And when you get a P606 code, the main computer module, which can be called the engine control module or the powertrain control module, is having an internal error. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a Y. And one thing about a P0606 code is that sometimes it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot since it is possible possible that the ECM or PCM has gone bad, but it can also be caused by other things. So if you could go through and verify that these other things are working properly, then this can help you narrow down if the main computer is having a problem. And so what are some possible causes of a P0606 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad battery or bad battery connections because all these computers located in the vehicle, they need a good stable power supply or else it's going to cause issues with them and it's just going to cause problems. And so first thing to do is go check your battery. Be sure that's good. Be sure all the battery connections look like they're good, that there's no corrosion or anything like this going on because the first thing that could cause this is that it's a bad battery or the battery connections. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the alternator. Either it's overcharging or it's undercharging or something like this is going on. And so a really quick way to check this is to use a multimeter. And basically what you do is that you start up the engine and then you check to see what the voltage is at the battery terminals. Every vehicle's alternator is going to have a different rated output for what the voltage is supposed to be. But the voltage should be between 13 and a half and like 14 and a half volts. If it's under this or if it's over that, then there's some kind of issue going on with the alternator. Like the alternator's gone bad or a voltage regulator's gone bad or something like this. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of charging issue going on, which is going to be an issue with the alternator. The next thing that could cause is that there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring going to the ECM or PCM. And basically, if there's any open, short, a bad connection, then that's going to cause issues and it's going to cause problems. And trying to find an open or a short or things along these lines can be kind of difficult. But if you could go examine the wiring and be sure that you don't see any physical damage or anything like that, sometimes rodents and things like this can get inside the vehicle and chew on the wires or different things along these lines. Also, be sure to check all your fuses, especially anything labeled like ECU or ECM or PCM or anything like this because the blowing fuse is going to cause problems. One thing to also mention with all these computer modules is that they all need a good ground or else they can get thrown off. They'll just do strange things. So you can't go around and be sure they have a good ground. If you have a jumper wire, quite often what you could do is you could ground it to the case and then you could try to jumper it to some type of good ground like on the frame or something like that. And then you could just start up the vehicle and see if the code clears or something along these lines. But basically keep in mind that a bad ground wire going to the computer modules is going to cause an issue. Another thing that can affect these computer modules is that if you have a failed component, like you have a sensor that's going bad, it's shorting out or something like that, then sometimes that can affect these computer modules. So for that reason, if you're getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. For example, say you were also getting a P0118 code, which would be an engine coolant temperature sensor one circuit high. And if that was the case, you could go check out that engine coolant temperature sensor. You could just unplug it and see if the P0606 code clears. The engine coolant temperature sensor error code wouldn't clear. But if that sensor was shorted out and was causing problems with the computer module, then the P0606 code would clear and you know it was a bad sensor. And so basically keep in mind that a bad sensor that's shorted or something like that, it can cause issues and it could throw those computer modules off. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there is a bad computer module, there is a bad PCM or a bad ECM that had just gone bad, it just needs to be replaced. One thing about these computer modules is that sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when they go bad is that they'll actually get burn spots on them and things like this. And so if you locate that ECM or PCM, you can go around it and just check to see if you smell like a burnt smell around it. Because like I said, sometimes, not all the times, these can fail and you don't see no burnt components on it. But it is fairly common that when they do fail, that they do get burnt components on them. Or one of these capacitors blow up or something like that. You can even open them up and check them out and check to see what the components all look like inside of there. And check to see if you see anything burnt. But the last thing on the list is that there is some kind of problem with that PCM or ECM and it just needs to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0606 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.